Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the URI. URI full form is Universal Remote Identifier. So I maybe in the previous video I pronounced it wrong. Something like Uniform Resource Identifier, something like that. But the full form for this one is Universal Remote Identifier. So before continuing into the Ajax course and all those things, so we need to have a clear understanding about these all HTTP requests and how the HTTP requests are made, what is the URI and all those things we need to have a clear understanding. So that is the reason I am giving you the brief introduction, brief overview of this URI HTTP request and all those things. So let's try to see about this URI. We already know about this one that every HTTP request needs to have a URI. So that's correct, right? So why? Because when we are trying to make HTTP request, we need to have one address location. So we need to know the location where I need to make a request to whom I need to make a request. Okay. So if you are trying to ask something means you need to know the address of that guy. So that is the thing. So if you are trying to make an HTTP request, we need to have a URI. URI means nothing but an address. So here the URI stands for the universal remote identifier. So this is the full form for this one universal re remote identifier. So when a web browser talks to a server, it uses something called a URI. So when, when the web browser talks to a server, so it, talk, it, 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 ha, it needs to have something called as an URI. So that is nothing but an address. A URI has a multiple components. So now we understood about the URI. So how this URI looks like? Okay, this URI has a multiple components, multiple components, multiple parts. So let's di dissect this one by one and we'll try to see. It tells to the server what type of protocol it is, it is using. So in this URI, it will have so it, ha it has so many information involved in that one. And first information is that is nothing but it tells to the server that what type of protocol is using. The protocol that a web server uses is HTTP. So normally we know that web server means the protocol which it uses is the HTTP. It tells that server that we are dealing with the website, but other protocols also can be presented by a browser. So whenever you are trying to access the HTTP request and all those things. So it tells to the server that we are dealing with the website. So when you are trying to access web server HTTP means so then you may be you, you, sh, you can be able to understand that we are dealing with the website. So but other protocols can also can be presented by a browser. So not only the HTTP protocols, the other protocols also can be used by the browser. So those protocols are like FTP, which uses the port 21. We'll try to uh, I will try to explain you about the port also. The other protocols are like FTP, IDAP, file, mail to, etc. So let's see, let us see some examples in the browser. So these are the other protocols. For example, if you go here and if you open something like google.com, okay. So when you are trying to use this google.com, so here if you try to see here, we are using the HTTP, okay. So whenever you use HTTP, www.google.com. So this is nothing but we are using the HTTP protocol. So now, for example, when you try to use file, so let's remove this console. When you try to use file, so we can also use file colon google.com. So when I use this file colon to google.com, so then you will get an error. Okay, this one is not coming. I don't know this one. Let's try to see. So file, file colon google.com. Okay, I am trying to use file.com, google.com. It's not opening. So let's see in the other browser. So here in this one, when you try to use this file colon like this, so it is telling that file not found. So that means the browser can also understand the other type also. For example, if I try to use mail to colon double slash leela at the rate leela.com, if I try to use like this, then it will try to open the outlook. So it is trying to open the outlook. So here it is trying to open the outlook. So like this, the protocols can be understood by the browser. So now these are some of the examples. So not only with the HTTP, we can also try it with the file, FTP, like that also we can try it. When a user enters the URI in the address, the browser checks the prefix to determine which protocol we used it. So now when a user enters the URL in the a browser, the browser first checks the prefix that which protocols the which protocol the user is trying to do. So here we have tried HTTP with file mail to write. It is trying to see which protocol it is using. 
then afterwards it looks like it looks at the text after the colon to determine which server to communicate so here the uri that example or the uri how it looks like here is the example http so this is the protocol and a colon double slash you'll be having after that you'll be having a server name and afterwards colon port you'll be having a port and slash directory slash file so like this the uh, structure of the url will look like so here it looks then after the after the first one denotes the protocol and the another one denotes the server name and port and directory like this it will denote the server name part either can be a computer name or an ip address so for example if i try to show you here if i am trying to use google.com okay google.com if i am trying to use google.com so let's see here if i am trying to use google.com okay here we are able to see the google.com right so now the google.com is the server name so if you want you can also have the ip address also if you want to check the ip address so here you'll be able to see it so here you can use ping google.com so that you can get the ip address for this one so this is the ip address you can copy this ip address and you can paste it directly here not a problem then also it will open the google.com so the server name can be either a server a server name can be either a computer name or an ip address ip address can be denoted using this one using the ping so this is what i want to try to explain you so now let's see so here is the look at an example so http example.com file.txt and in the above url we have in define the port okay so here example we have in define the port so when you are trying to make a call through the pro http protocol the browser will assume that the default port is 80 okay the default port is 80 so if you want to mention a port other than 80 means you need to mention using the colon like that so that is the main thing so if you don't mention anything means it will do uh, directly it will think that okay it is uh, I, it is requesting through the port 80 http always request through the port 80 by default if you want another port means you can also use it not a problem that is not a thing i will try to explain you the i will try to show you some simple example for example let's say that i am opening wikipedia or anything okay wikipedia.org if you try to see here and let's go to the inspect element and in the network tab here so let's reload this page and here you will be able to see these are all cached you are getting second one second so here i am disabling the cache and i am refreshing the page again so here we are able to see that it is wikipedia.org so it is trying to make a get request and we are getting the status code as 200 okay 200 okay means the server has given us the response and the http protocol which the version protocol which we are trying to make is the http second version and the transfer request priority these all things and these are all the response headers we already know the http consists of two parts that is headers and the body okay this one is a get request it doesn't have the body so we are having the headers thing and here you'll be able to see the request headers so these are sent by the browser you can be able to see the connection cookie so these are these are the cookies which it has been sent okay that uh, the another way of passing the data and the host so you'll be able to see these are all the things user agent means the type of browser which we are trying to send it so these are all the request headers and here this is the response which we are getting it back from the server so here you will be able to see the content type is html code so we are able to get the html sometimes you used to get the plain also for example here if you try to see so this response header is that application slash javascript for this one this is an text slash html and the date which we have received it and these are all the servers what is the type of server we are uh, it is using and these are all we are able to get it so this is how the http uri will be having so this is how the http request will be making hope you understood about this uri if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you